name is Emma with Thunderbird Performance. Today we're going to be talking about our right and our left channels and how that can affect our bodies. So breathing through the left nostril versus breathing through the right nostril. Um, when you know these different techniques, you have access to these different technologies or these different energies uh, that can really shift the chemistry within your body but then also change your emotions and your moods like everything's completely connected and so when you know um, the physical practices the physical tools that associate with these moods energies emotions um, you can use them to kind of control and dictate or play into or strengthen or lessen whatever you might be feeling so instead of having all these emotions arise where we might feel out of control and just this either rage or sorrow or depression or anxiety um, you can start Start to recognize what you're feeling in your body and then know that you have these different tools so that you can change how you're feeling. It's really cool and it's really powerful stuff and it's super, super simple and accessible. So um, today we're going to be talking about left and right nostril breathing. So you have two channels in your body, right? And they kind of zigzag up. It's like a braid. And I think it's blue cross blue shield, right? But Or the medical... You guys know what I'm talking about, but they kind of dance between each other, okay? So you have um, one that ends at your left nostril and one that ends at your right nostril. And so the two of them. Um, but the left nostril is Ida. So you have Ida and then you have Pingala. So Ida is left, Pingala is right. So your Ida is um, that cooling more intuitive kind of feminine side. Um, it's the more receptive energy. It, it literally is the energy that cools your body down. So it's what um, instills that parasympathetic nervous system that helps. It's the rest or digest, right? Um, it's also the apana energy. So you have prana. So think prana is um, when you breathe it in, that life force, that energy that dances around us. It, it's what moves new oxygen into our blood, through our blood. Um, and apana is that release and that elimination. So as you inhale prana, you exhale. Exhale is the apana energy. Um, so yeah, so prana so prana, apana. Um, so ida, the left side is, so your left side is ida and apana. Um, it's your moon energy, so it's the co the cooling, receptive, um, it's calmness, sensitivity, empathy, and also uh, synthesis. So it's what helps us to process, right? So as you digest something, you are processing. When you sleep, you go into that resting state, so you can digest and you can process your emotions, and it's like this way for you to wipe yourself clean, to cleanse yourself, right? And then on the other side, um, they're not conflicting energies. They're just kind of opposite and parallel, but you have your pingala, right? So your pingala energy is your prana. Um, so it's the nadi that ends at the right nostril. Um, this is your nurturing energy. Um, it's the sun energy, so it's warm and protective. Now, if we think about the opposite where it's um, rest and digest, right? Sometimes we think that fight or flight, it can be that as well. And so it can also instill, like if you do too much right stuff, it's that very heavy, masculine, protective, not heavy in a bad way, but there's a balance, right? So the same as with your soft energy, but like on your right side with your masculine energy, if you are too masculine, right? If you think of the scales, if you're too far and you're over there and you're just like, like very, uh, and you're angry and you feel that. And like, no matter whether, like I identify more with female energy. Um, but if you are a, a woman, a man, we have both sides to us. And so it's really important to recognize those and communicate and get to know them, communicate with. Um, but your masculine side can, you can have too much masculine energy or too little masculine energy. And me as a woman, like I am a very masculine female. Like I am very dominant. I am powerful. Um, I am very fiery, but there's also this softer side of me, this, uh, Ida side, the moon side of me and men have it too. Um, but it can be, you know, you want to kind of find that middle ground because you can have too much of that sensitivity or not enough, right? So it's sometimes when we see it not enough, we see people as being very cold and shut off and not in tune with their emotions and a little bit shameful of it. Um, whether it or it's too much where people are so like just influenced by other people's emotions or sometimes it can be when it's those really heavy emotions like if somebody's feeling super depressed um, sometimes they're just dealing with too much of that Ida energy or it's too stimulated or that left side channel has just been really really overworked and so 
once you start to realize, like I said earlier, those energies in your body, you can use these tools, like your understanding of your channels and where your balance is, right? So my normal, like my kind of the place that I like to be is going to be different from somebody else, but you can find what feels good to you so that you feel grounded in that power. Um, okay. So the other energies on your right side are um, vigor, alertness, it's willpower, concentration, and your readiness for action. So it's always being ready. It's like being ready to protect yourself, being ready for action, like not overthinking things and just doing. So I like to think of it as that instinctual, um, like if you eat it, like if your left side is your intuitive, like knowing, knowing what to do, your right side is when you don't skip a beat and it's that courageous side where you just move in and you know what you need to do and you trust yourself. So it's the knowing and the action and you can't do anything without the both of them. So you have to respect those energies. All right. So Emma's TED talk for the day. Um, <laughs> get to know yourself. Uh, okay. So we're going to do a 90 minute breathing exercise on each side. So we're going to start with the right side. So a little bit more fiery breath, and then we're going to end with the cooling side on the left side. Now you actually might feel yourself heating up or cooling down. Um, if you need to blow your nose, you can do that using like menthol or something that kind of opens up your channels is a great way. You can put it on your chest or anywhere. Um, but we're going to do 90 seconds on each side. So just gently uh, close your left nostril. And then same thing. We're rooting down. Find that pelvic floor lift as you lift up and then roll your shoulders up, down, and back. Close your eyes. Uh, gaze to the brow point. So use that energy lock. And then let's begin. So. Deep, full inhale. Deep, full exhale. Think about all the things I just said. This is your right side, your fiery side. Feel the strength in that energy. I am strong. I know what to do. I am powerful. I am ready for action. Good, breathe it in. And breathe it out. Feel that heat, inhale. Move it through you as you exhale. Good, full inhale here. Suspend the breath, hold it in, keep that left nostril closed. Try to sip in a little bit more air. Pull in that fire, good. Now squeeze the energy up so we find that pelvic floor lift as we draw the energy up into our chest. Roll your shoulder blades down, open chest, hold it here. Feel it. And exhale. Let it go. Good, release your other hand down to your knee and then we'll just take a couple breaths here and feel the energy moving through us. You can keep your eyes closed or open them. But for me, what I feel is alert. I feel focused. I feel centered. I feel ready to do something. Like I want to get up right now. <laughs> I don't want to sit down. <laughs> um, but it's that alertness and that energy. And so I use this breath sometimes um, if I have to work or I'm studying and I'm just like not getting it or, you know, I'm just like, this is dumb or I don't want to be here. I'll use that breath and then think about how I can turn that fire, that alertness, that centered energy into whatever I'm doing. So instead of having all of that kind of like fiery energy bouncing around me, I'm like, no, I'm in control of it and I'm going to center it on exactly what I want to focus on. Okay. So in contrast, now we're going to work on the left side. If you need to recross your legs or change them, I'm going to redo that because my 
toes are tingling. <laughs> um, you can go ahead, whoops, this way. And then just kind of restructure your feet. So pulling yourself forward, nice open chest. Um, so now we're going to come or complement it. I was going to say combat, but it's not a combat. Um, we're going to try the other side. So from here, find your seated position. Hand can be on your thigh. It can be on your belly, wherever you want it to be. Um, and then just roll. Find that open meditation, meditative position. Lock it in. So we're intentional. Even though we're doing this soft, like sensual side, um, we're intentional. Right, you can be that peaceful warrior. That's that's what it is. It's the ability to do both, to have the fire and the water, the ice and the heat. So coming into neutral. And then here we go. Closing your right nostril. Eyes roll up to your brow point. Take a deep inhale. And deep exhale. 90 seconds. As you inhale, visualize that cooling energy, that blue light if you want, filling up your body. And as you exhale, okay, move it through your system. Visualize that restful energy. Exhale, move it through your body. Okay, breathing through your nose. As you inhale, think about that digestive system, that processing, and how your body knows how to take care of itself. And exhale, releasing any of those toxins or things that aren't serving us. One more deep inhale here. Suspend the breath. And exhale. Let it go. Releasing that right nostril, just take your other hand down to your thigh, or you can rest your palms, your hands together at the center. Keeping your eyes closed, just feel the energy moving through your system. Really try to sit up nice and tall, roll your shoulders down and back, and just find that natural breath. Good. As you're sitting here, I want you to breathe through both nostrils. Big, deep inhale. Big, deep exhale. You are both sides of these energies. You have them in you, and it is what makes you whole. You know how to protect yourself. And then you know how to nurture yourself. If we get quiet enough and spend enough time with ourselves, our bodies, our intuition, that inner voice, it'll tell us what we need, how to heal ourselves, what we're asking for. Let's take one more deep inhale here. gently open your eyes. That was a very different experience for me. Um, the left side felt very, I didn't notice so much the temperature, but just very like easeful. And like, I just felt my whole body, like instead of 
kind of this structure, I just relaxed into kind of the support of my bones and my muscles, like knowing how to hold myself up. Um, I felt very calm. I also felt like that went so much faster than the right side. So just that cooling, nurturing side, which makes me think that I need a little bit of more of that right now. Um, but this can be a great practice to use if you're going, if you need to go to sleep. Right, so you don't have to sit up and do this meditation. If you actually lay on your right side, and then the mucus will drain over to your right side, and you can breathe through that left channel. So that's a great way to use that calming energy, and vice versa if you need to wake up in the morning or sit up and do it. Um, but yeah, I feel very chill now. <laughs> um, it's great to kind of revisit these practices because at different points in my life, I know that I need different things. At different times during the day, I need different energies. And so if you practice these things, and like I said, you start to get more familiar with them, you will really get to know yourself and get to know your needs and what your body is literally telling you that you need, right? So if I'm feeling very tired and sleepy, um, and I need to kind of spark it up, like I know how to do that. Vice versa, if I'm feeling very like agitated or like if I have a deadline and I'm like, gosh, like I have so much stuff to do and I'm, my mind starts spinning and you know, you just start thinking and going and you're like, oh my gosh, like I can't even see straight or your mind's just like exploding outward or left side breathing, like come back to it, close your eyes, sit down, sit on the ground, you can be barefoot, like go outside and sit. I love doing this barefoot and like even just sitting and putting my feet flat on the earth. Um, but use that left side breath to calm yourself down and just clear away that extra stuff and know that if you're going to show up and do it, if you kind of make that pact with yourself to show up as the best version of yourself, then the ease, I mean, it'll take some practice and getting used to this and you have to build that trust with yourself. But it's a way that I've found that instead of letting my mind spin out and like I have so much stuff to do, like I'm going to slow down and do the very best that I can right here. And I'm going to, at the end, be proud of whatever I do. But I can't do that if my mind is spinning out and I'm thinking of all these other things. So um, I just wanted to teach you guys these tools. And then we also have a video on the website for alternate nostril breathing. And that's a whole other experience. Um, so just know that it's a great way to balance yourself out and that you have the power to control your emotions and feel what you want to feel. So let's reach our arms up to the sky, big strong breath, press your palms together. And as you exhale, draw them down to heart center. Thank you so much for being on the mat with me today and I'll see you next time. Namaste.